Great. My whole website's messed up now. Did you install the shady plugin again? Maybe. Hey, it happens. We can just restore an old backup, right? I don't have any backups. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you don't have backups of your website? No, I don't. How's it going guys? I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, back with another WordPress tutorial for you guys. And if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily back up and restore your WordPress website for free. If you have a WordPress website, it's essential to create regular backups of your website in case something goes wrong. Trust me, you don't want to end up like my friend at the start of this video. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, here we are on the WordPress website we'll be using for this video. And just like I said at the start of the video, it's really important to have regular backups of your WordPress website, just in case something goes wrong. In the case where something actually goes wrong, you could lose all your data from your website, all your images, your content, your posts, and you don't want that to happen. And by having regular backups, in case something goes wrong, you can actually restore that backup and keep all your data from your website. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and install the plugin and the plugin we'll be using is Updraft Plus. And this is my preferred choice when it comes to backing up and restoring on my WordPress website, just because all of these features are available for free. Let's check it out. So first, we're gonna go into the plugins menu on our WordPress dashboard over here, and then click on add new. And once we're here, we can go up to the top right here into the search bar and type in Updraft Plus. And the one we're looking for is this one here, Updraft Plus WordPress Backup Plugin. We're going to go and hit Install Now. And once that's installed, we can also press Activate. And once that's all done, the plugin will now be installed. And you might be wondering why I chose Updraft Plus over the competition. There's actually a lot of different plugins that can do very similar, a lot of great backup and restore plugins. But Updraft Plus, like I said earlier, all the features we need are all available for free. And I'll get into those a little bit more as we go through in the video. All right, now that the plugin has been activated, we can go into the settings over here and go down all the way down here where you say Updraft Plus Backups and you can click on that. And here we are in Updraft Plus's menu. As you can see, it's very simple. And it's actually very easy to use as well. And I'll walk you through step by step on how we can set up our backups. And on the first tab you see here, it says Backup and Restore. And over here, this is where you can actually create manual backups of your entire website. And you probably guessed it right. The way you create a backup is by clicking on this big blue backup now button, which we'll check out in a little bit. And down here, this is where the existing backups will be shown. So once we've created a backup, it'll actually show us a list of all the available backups we can restore from. All right, so now if you guys are ready, I'll just quickly demonstrate how easy it is to create a manual backup of your entire website. So we're gonna go ahead and click this big blue button over here, just like that. And here, and what it says is take a new backup with some checkboxes as well. So the first one asks if we wanna include our database. Yes, we do. The second one, it's asking us to include your files in the backup. So the files are like all the content on your website. So all your plugins, themes, images, all of those things. So of course we want to include that with this backup. I'm going to leave that checked. And the next one's mentioning remote storage. So Updraft Plus actually lets us send our backup file onto a cloud storage, which is really cool. And it's also part of the free package as well. I'll talk about that more later in the video. First, we're going to leave it as is. And the last one here, we'll talk about a little bit later as well. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it unchecked. I'm going to press backup now. And as you can see, it's already started creating our backup files right here with this progress bar. So we'll just wait until the backup is completely finished before proceeding with the video. All right, Updraft Plus has now finished backing up our website. And as you can see down here, existing backups, there's now one available and it tells you when that was created. And down here, this is the actual backup that's been created. So right here, you can actually download the different parts of your backup files. You have the databases, plugins, themes, uploads and others. You can download each one of these individually and keep them on your local machine as well. Just like this, for example, let's download the themes and it'll give you the option to either download it to your computer or delete from your web server. So it's really convenient. You can back up and download all the different parts of your website and keep them on your local machine if you'd like to, just to save space on the web server. And from here, it even tells you how much space Updraft Plus is currently taking up on your web server. Currently it's 154 megabytes. And if we want, we can also remove this backup once we've downloaded it onto our local machine. And over here, this is where the restore button is. It's really easy to restore a website as well, but we'll come back to that later in the video. But now you know how easy it is to create a manual backup using the Updraft Plus plugin. All right, next we'll move on to some other additional features with this amazing plugin. And again, it's all part of the free version. So let's go up here into settings. 
And this is where I'll show you some of the other features in Updraft Plus. All right, so up here under Files, Backup Schedule. So this is where you can actually schedule Updraft Plus to create automatic backups of your entire website. Currently it's set to manual, but if you drop it down, you have every two hours, every four hours, eight, 12, even daily, weekly, fortnightly, or even monthly, all depending on how frequently you update your website. And apart from that, you also have the same thing for your database backups. So you can schedule it to backup automatically so you don't have to worry about doing it manually at all. And on the right hand side, you can also specify how many backups it's actually retaining. So every time a new backup is created, it's only going to retain the two latest backups. And you can modify the setting for both the files as well as the database. So for example, let's go ahead and change this up a little bit. We're going to change this from manual to weekly. We can also change this to any number we want. So I'm just going to choose four, for example. And down here, database backup as well. We're just going to do daily, for example. And we're just going to keep it on two as well. So that just shows you how you can change this to match your exact needs. It totally depends on how frequently you're updating your website with new content. And it's going to go ahead and back it up and make sure you have all the changes backed up properly. This is a really good feature to have and it just gives you peace of mind knowing that your website is regularly backed up as you specified over here. And again, this is all part of the free version of this plugin. And that's what makes it really great. And now moving on to the next feature. This one's really important because we really do not recommend that you keep your backups on your web server. Because what happens is if your server has any issues and it actually goes down, it'll take your website and your backups all with it, leaving you with nothing to restore with. This is why it's really important for a good backup plugin to give you the option to send your backup files onto a cloud-based storage solution. So for example, with Updraft Plus, you have a whole range of different storage options you can choose. You have all the popular ones like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive. All you have to do is connect your account and when it backs it up, it will send your backup files onto your storage as well. For example, in this video, let's go ahead and set up a Google Drive it's really easy to do so. So I'm just going to click on Google Drive over here. And then it will drop down these additional settings over here. And right here, you can specify the name in your Google Drive folder where it will be storing your backups. So I'm just going to leave it as Updraft Plus. And then down here, it says Authenticate with Google. You only have to do this once. And after that, all your backups will be automatically sent to your Google Drive. So I'm going to click on this here in a new tab. And here you'll have to sign into the Google account associated with the Google Drive you want to use. For example, I'm just going to choose this one here. And once you sign in, it will ask you if you want to give Updraft Plus access to your Google account. This is only to do with the folder in your Google Drive. I'm just going to go ahead and click allow over here. And lastly, on this page, all you have to do is press the complete setup button over here to connect Updraft Plus to our Google Drive. Once that's done, we're back in our Updraft Plus menu. And now if we go back into settings, and you might notice that the schedules we created earlier are now back to their default settings. And that's because after we changed them to our new settings, we didn't actually go down here and save them. So if you've modified this and you're looking to add your Google Drive account, make sure you go down here and save before you actually leave the settings menu on Updraft Plus. That's the only thing that happened. So I'm just going to quickly change this back. Just like we had it before. I'm just going to click on save right here before we make any more changes. All right, that's all good to go. Your settings have been changed. It says up here. All right, so now back here again with our storage option. I'm just going to click on Google Drive once again. And instead of actually authenticating your account, it now says you appear to be already authenticated, which means we can start using it right now. And once again, I'm just going to hit save changes. All right, going through the other settings here, you can also choose which files you include in the files backup. So you can choose plugins, themes and uploads, which I mentioned before. And down here, it also lets you exclude certain things from your uploads category. So down here, we can add exclusion rule. So you can add a certain directory, all files with an extension, all files beginning with given characters, or files or directories containing a certain character and their name. So it really lets you customize exactly what you back up. And down here, it's very similar. Any other directories found inside WP content, so you can modify those as well to your exact needs. And if you choose to upgrade to Updraft Plus Premium, you can also encrypt your backups as well, but that's not part of the free version. And down here, you can also send an email report to yourself by clicking on this box here. It also gives you some additional settings as part of the expert settings over here. So if I click show expert settings, you can enter debug mode. You can split the archives of your backup files. You can allow the option to delete your local backup. You can change your backup directory and more. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it basic and just hit save changes and we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that we've set up our Google Drive as our cloud storage for our backups, I'll show you how that works. So once again, I'm here in the backup and restore tab on Updraft Plus's menu. 
And again, I'm going to go ahead and hit the backup now button right here. And now that we've connected our Google Drive, our remote storage option to Updraft Plus, it'll now show it over here as well. And that's already checked for us. So once again, let's go ahead and hit backup now. And there you go, Updraft Plus has now finished our second backup and it's showing us over here that it's already completed. And but what you might notice are two different things over here. The first one here is this padlock over here, which just indicates that the backup is only allowed to be deleted manually. So you can go ahead and check this here and press delete, but we won't do that at the moment. And the next one is the Google Drive icon here. And what this indicates is that the backup file is actually located on Google Drive and not on our web server. And this is exactly what we want. And similar to the original backup we did, you can still go ahead and download the individual different parts from the backup. And it's as easy as that. And that's how you can create a backup of your WordPress website using Updraft Plus. Now I'll show you how you can actually restore this backup onto your WordPress website. And now that our backup exists on Google Drive, no matter what happens to the web server or our website, if everything's lost, you can still recover your website by installing Updraft Plus once again. All right, I've just gone ahead and removed the backups we've created earlier. And let's pretend this is a clean install of WordPress and we're trying to recover our backup from our old website. The first thing you have to do is once again, install the Updraft Plus plugin like we did earlier. It's really easy. And next we have to go into settings and once again, link back our Google Drive account just like this and connect to the same Google Drive account where we stored our backup earlier. And once that's all done, we're gonna come back into our backup and restore menu over here. And now you have two different options on how you can actually connect your backup back into Updraft Plus. The first one is actually manually uploading your backup files. Remember that you could download the different backup files from the backups you created here. You can actually go ahead and upload those just like this. Press upload backup files. And you can actually drag and drop those files down here. And as you can see, all the different parts have now finished uploading and it shows us our full backup file down here, ready to be restored. And that's one way how you can add your backup file back into Updraft Plus. And now let's move on to the second way you can add your backup file back into Updraft Plus. And this way is much easier than uploading it manually. And that's because we've already sent our backup files onto Google Drive. Once again, making sure that you're connected to the same Google Drive account, you can actually go ahead and press rescan remote storage over here. And as you can see in just a few minutes, it's gone ahead and grabbed the exact backup we created onto our Google Drive earlier and it's showing it to us over here right now. And once you can see it in your Updraft Plus, it's as simple as going over here and pressing restore. And that brings us into the restore menu here. And you can choose the different components you wish to restore. You have your plugins, themes, uploads, others, and database. So you can go ahead and select all of those and press next. And now it's gonna go ahead and download all the backup files from your Google Drive onto your WordPress website. All right, once our backup files are all ready to be restored, you now just have to press restore over here. It does give you a warning over here. And it's just warning that this backup file was found on a remote storage and it wasn't actually on your web server. And that's fine, we're the ones that created it so we know that it's safe to use. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press restore over here. And now it's all done. Our backup has been successfully restored. It says over here, restore successful. We can return to Updraft Plus configuration over here. And this view might look familiar to you. We've just successfully restored our earlier backup to the instance when it was just created. And you can see the backup files we've created down here and it's working just as it should. Now that our backup file has been restored, it's always a good idea to go and audit your website to make sure everything's working as it should. Once you've confirmed everything is okay, now you can go to the top of your Updraft Plus settings page right here, where it says your backup has been restored. And down here, we're gonna be clicking this delete all directories button. Now these are directories that are from before the restoration that is held onto for us until we can confirm that the website's working as it should. Let's go ahead and click on delete old directories right here. And as you can see, remove all directories. All are saying okay, all directories have successfully been removed. And now we can return back to Updraft Plus configuration over here. And that's it. That's all we have to do to restore Updraft Plus backups on our WordPress website. And remember that everything we've done in this video has all been part of Updraft Plus's free plan. We didn't have to spend anything to be able to backup and restore website while also creating scheduled backups and connecting it to a cloud storage like Google Drive. This has all been free. And if you want access to more features from Updraft Plus, such as the amazing migration tool and website cloning tool, you will have to upgrade to Updraft Plus Premium. And to do that, it only costs you $70 for a personal license for the first year. And then when you renew from there, it's also $42 per year, which is a really good deal in my opinion, especially for what you're getting from such a powerful and effective tool. 
If you want to check out Updraft Plus Premium, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And that's it for this video. If you guys got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe by clicking our logo over here, or you can check out even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.